The moon, cold, silent, lifeless, or so we've always believed. But hidden beneath its gray deserts lies a secret written in atoms, a memory of something once fluid, once alive. When Apollo astronauts brought lunar rocks home, scientists found traces of hydrogen locked inside volcanic glass, chemical whispers suggesting that water once flowed where now only dust remains. Four and a half billion years ago, the newborn moon shimmered with molten fire, an ocean of magma stretching from pole to pole. From that chaos, minerals began to crystallize, trapping droplets of water deep within. The moon was born from violence, Earth and Thea colliding in a cataclysm so vast it melted planets. Out of that chaos rose a new world, carrying fragments of Earth's ocean in its newborn crust. Even today, we find the fingerprints of water, frozen in glass beads, bound in minerals. Not seas that lapped against shores, but molecular ghosts left behind by a world that once glimmered with heat. For a brief cosmic moment, the moon may have had an atmosphere, steam rising from lava seas, hydrogen meeting oxygen in fleeting union before space tore it all away. As the magma ocean cooled, the water was trapped or lost. The surface hardened, and the moon fell silent, a frozen echo of its once liquid heart. Yet, every time we look up, we're reminded, the moon was born from Earth's own body. Its lost oceans mirror the ones that cradle us now. If the moon once had an ocean, does some fragment of that water still exist in us, recycled through time? reborn in rain, rivers, and blood? Water connects worlds, not by presence, but by memory. Every molecule is a traveler, carrying stories from ancient rocks to living veins. The moon no longer holds an ocean, but it still stirs one within us. In every tide, we feel its pull, ancient and eternal. The moon's ocean is gone, but its story remains. If this made you wonder, follow when we wonder, and let's keep uncovering the forgotten dreams of the universe.